Ashley here. Ha happy hump day. I hope everyone's having a really great week so far. Um, I'm having a really great week. I've just been doing some, getting some work done and hanging out with Cass. And we put our boat back in the water uh, Monday afternoon because we had to take it out to kind of fix something on it. And now we got it back in the water. So that's awesome. So we can spend some time out on the water and get in some sun. And I hope everyone else is having a great week. Um, the weather's been wonderful and um, it's going to be even better today. So why don't we do our morning message so we can get our work done and go outside and play. All right, before we can do anything, we got to go over our rules. So let's go over them and get started. Our first rule is I am sitting. So your feet are on the floor and your butt is on a chair or maybe the couch or a bed. Everyone's at home so it's okay. However you are doing your work, it's best to do it sitting, not running around the house. My next rule is my mouth is quiet. My mouth is quiet. Quiet. My next rule is my eyes are watching. You're watching me on whatever device at home. Tablet, iPad, phone. Anyway, I'm happy you're watching. It makes me really happy when you do your work. My next rule is my ears are listening. My ears are are listening and the last rule is my hands are working or they are still so my hands are either working or they're quiet you're not ripping up paper or pinching anyone or touching anything they should be working or just nice and quiet so let's go over our morning message and I can't believe it's already halfway through June. That is just crazy. So we got to figure out that date. It says June 2020. Today is, the weather is, and outside. All right, let's try to figure out our date. June 2020. Okay, let's look at our pattern to figure out the next picture. So our pattern goes ladybug, butterfly, ladybug, butterfly, ladybug, butterfly, what comes next? Butterfly again or ladybug? That's right. The next picture in our pattern is a ladybug. So now our pattern goes ladybug, butterfly, ladybug, butterfly, ladybug, butterfly, ladybug. Nice job, you guys. So you told me, first of all, we know that our month is June, and June is a spring month, so our season is spring. And we know that actually, um, I think next week, or maybe it's the end of this week, it's the first day of summer. So that's kind of crazy. So it's still spring right now, though, because it is June 17th. Today is June 17th. So what do I need to put right there? Would I put June 17th or June 1st? That's right. Today is June 17th. I think like in two days or two or three days, it's the first day of summer. Oops, I put the wrong one. Whoops, I gotta put it there. Yeah, I think so. I'll have to look it up like the 20th or something. So, we know that today's date is June 17th, 2020. Nice job. We are halfway through this month, if not a little bit more, which makes me sad because I don't want it to be July yet because Summer's going to fly by. Okay, let's look at our next sentence. It says, today is, I should rephrase that. I am excited for fall because I get to see all of you guys, but I love the warm 
warm weather in the summer. All right, today is, hmm, let's look at our days of the week and figure out what today is. So we know that yesterday was Tuesday because on Tuesdays we do news to you. We know yesterday was Tuesday. We know that tomorrow will be Thursday because on Thursdays we do Scholastic. And I haven't done our Scholastic yet. I got to see which one's a good one. I'm running out of issues. So if yesterday was Tuesday and tomorrow will be Thursday, that means today is Wednesday. That means today is Wednesday. So tell me, what is today? Today is Friday or today is Wednesday? That's right, today is Wednesday. It is hump day, the middle of the week. Nice work. Today is Wednesday. All right, next it says the weather is and outside. So I'm looking out my window. I haven't been outside quite yet today. It's a little early still. But I know that the weather is going to be great, just like it has been the last couple of days. So, I have on a short sleeve shirt and some capris. And I also need to wear sunglasses if I go outside. If and when I go outside. I'm going to go for a walk later. So, I have to wear sunglasses on my face. What does that mean the weather is? That means today is sunny. Or snowy. That's right. If you notice, I do not have on winter boots. I do not have on rain boots or a winter hat or a raincoat. Because today is sunny. Very good. The weather is sunny and what outside? So I have on short sleeves. I will not be putting a coat on. I will not be putting on boots or anything. I'll be wearing flip-flops or sandals later. So, we know that we talk about temperature in school a lot. Um, it's on a lot of our assessments. We have to know what a thermometer measures. And we know in room 18 that a thermometer measures temperature. And we know what the temperature is because we know how to dress and what to wear outside. We know to look at the um, temperature and the weather because then we can plan if we're going to go on a picnic or if we're going to go sledding or skiing. So we need to know what the temperature and the weather is going to be like. We know that the temperature is even higher this week, or I should say today, than it was the other days. And the red part of our thermometer is just reaching and reaching and going higher and higher. And the higher it is, the hotter the weather. So, with that being said, what is the temperature outside? Is it cool out? A little bit chilly? Or is it hot outside today? That's right, it is hot outside today. So, it says the weather is sunny and hot outside today. It is feeling more and more like summer, which is good because summer is just a few days away. And I hope everyone, um, I'm glad, thank you for doing our work. I hope everyone has a great rest of your week. And I hope everyone has a really great weekend. This weekend on Sunday, it's Father's Day. And I'm kind of bummed because the weather isn't going to be as nice as it is today. It's going to be, it's supposed to be rainy. So fingers crossed it's not rainy because it's Eric's first Father's Day. And I know he wants to go out on the boat with Cass. So I really hope that the weather is nice, kind of like it is today. And we can go on the boat and go to the beach on the boat and have a great day and maybe come back and fart.
barbecue some food. So I hope everyone has a really wonderful week and a really wonderful Father's Day. Make sure if you have your dad around, make sure you tell him that you love him. Or if you can't tell him, give him lots of hugs and kisses. Um, my dad's not around anymore, so I won't be able to share the day with him. But I know most of you have your dads around, and I hope that you take advantage of it and have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.